Hi everyone, this is Lars, and I uh, just wanted to give you a quick insight into uh, what marvelous fun you can have if you're interested in illustration, uh, you know, or just simply drawing or whatever, and you uh, own a, a ThinkPad tablet as I do. Uh, I guess most of you think that you would find you know the best tools for mobile uh, you know sketching and stuff uh, on the iPad but the the thing is that um, there are at least two tablets uh, that run Android which have a stylus no uh, less and this is not just uh, you know your average uh, capacitive stylus it's not actually a capacitive stylus at all but it's uh, it's an active stylus which has uh, much like uh, a Wacom stylus. It has pr uh, pressure sensitivity and uh, all that good stuff, which means that you can do pretty much anything that you would you know normally do with your uh, with your Wacom tablet. You can uh, do on your Android. So and this is. Um, what I like most of all is actually to use a uh, fully vector-based uh, application for for sketching because um, what I found that is that when you work with pixels, uh, it's it's just you know you've done sketches on your tablets and you want to refine them on your PC or whatever, and uh, you always find that uh, you know if if, if uh, the drawing doesn't scale you uh, well you lose detail anyway so let me show you this is uh, the wonderful open source uh, app for Android called Quill and let me show you just uh, how fantastic you know level of what level of detail you get when you use uh, vectors instead of uh, bitmaps so you can uh, really get into, you know, cross-hatching or whatever. I'm going to show you a bit more uh, finished drawing that I've made. Uh, this is uh, <laughs> something I, that I just started and uh, to see how much you know how much what level of detail I could have before you know the the application just uh, you know gave up but the thing is that I've uh, in, in no way reached any kind of uh, you know limits of complexity and uh, I have you know so much cross cross hatching and uh, and stuff uh, I, I went into pretty high level of detail even in the background and everything and you know it doesn't you don't you have no absolutely no uh, performance issues whatsoever when uh, when continuing to to draw so let me just uh, try I have I'm not much of um, I think I I've never tried actually to draw a bird so I'm going to try now, just for you. So, go just sketch. I'm also looking through the <laughs> the camera, so it's it's not as I'm not going to make any excuses. I probably at the moment suck at birds. In which way you you get this uh, wonderful possibility suit to zoom in even more to add uh, details to your little birdie, and because of the pressure pressure sensitivity, you know you get uh, a really you know nice feeling of actually. Um, of you know actually using a pen and all the strokes get natural because you apply just as if you were using a normal pen or pencil you know you get this dynamics uh, when 
in your in your stroke you can see it very clearly here that you know you apply the most pressure probably at the middle of the stroke and then you and then it kind of fades out so this is just one uh, app uh, of many but this is this is the best vector based uh, app so far it's very very stable and it uh, you know it makes backups just in case uh, all the time it's uh, it exports to PDF to PNG uh, it's just just simply marvelous and I, I think it's still just under a dollar or something if you if you want to use it it's it's as close as you know you get to to using pen and paper uh, and uh, also I can very much recommend the the ThinkPad tablets which is also getting an upgrade to ice cream sand which uh, very shortly it's it's extremely stable and very sturdy it's not the mess, not most you know good looking uh, tablet but then it's a ThinkPad <laughs> so uh, but it's it's wicked really uh, this this stylus actually has over 1000 I think it's 1024 points of pressure sensitivity so it's pretty much up to par with uh, at least the you know less expensive Wacom tablets and uh, you also have sketchbook pro uh, no not sketchbook pro of course but you have sketchbook uh, just as you have on uh, on your iPad or whatever the the difference being of course that with the stylus you have the pressure sensitivity uh